Welcome. In this video lecture, I am going to talk about the basic EOQ model, mean the economic order quantity model. And the economic order quantity model comes under the continuous review models. So continuous review model means when to order perspective, when we want to uh, find out the reorder point based on the uh, inventory level. When the inventory level of a certain product reaches at a certain level, then how much quantity we should order. So that means that's why we are saying the economic order quantity model comes under the continuous review model. As we have discussed in the last video, the continuous review means we are continuously checking the level of the product or you can say the inventory of a particular product when it is reaches at a certain level. Okay, then we are going to reorder it. So basically EOQ is under the continuous review model and the demand of that single product must be deterministic. So that means we can say that the economic order quantity model is single item or a single product when the demand is constant over the time uh, model. Okay, that is under this particular scenario. So basically, uh, the economic in economic order quantity model, we want to find out such an optimum order quantity. However, we should be able to minimize the total cost. What kind of cost? That is basically we want to minimize the ordering cost, okay, plus holding or you can say the carrying cost, right? The inventory holding cost or we can say the carrying cost. How we can compute the inventory holding cost or how we can calculate the inventory carry cost. So this is equal to basically the total cost of the inventory. So we will discuss later, but first of all, let's discuss how we can find out the economic order quantity model. So in economic order quantity model, first of all, we need to understand the assumption of this particular model. So in economic order quantity model, the first thing we are going to assume that demand is constant over the time as we have seen earlier, okay? So the demand is constant over the time, which we have represented in a graph like this way. So where X axis, we have time, where Y axis, we have the inventory level, or you can say the quantity of the product. So demand is constant over the time. The second assumption we are saying there is no shortages are allowed. So that means we have enough inventory that we would be able to meet the demand. There should be no shortages of that particular product. Similarly, we have the third assumption that the lead time is constant. The lead time of the inventory replenishment is constant and it is known. Okay, whether we are going to receive after, after three weeks or three days, whatever that is, that it must be constant. And lastly, all the order quantity we must receive at all at once. So that means whenever we have reached a point, we will receive all the order quantity which we have ordered to the supplier all at once. So if we want to model this economic order quantity based on these assumptions, how we can model it as we have say, said that on X axis, we have a time on Y axis, we have the order quantity. So that means this demand is indicating we are consuming the product at a constant rate. Okay, at a certain point, we are going to reorder it whatever the reorder point level is, how we can compute it, I will talk about in a minute, okay? So when it is reaches at a certain level, so at that particular point, we are going to reorder it, and this time we know that we are going to receive the order um, after this particular time period, and all the quantity which we have ordered it, we will receive all at once. So we know this lead time, and we know that all the order we are going to receive all at once so that means whenever we are going to reach at this level we will again having the inventory level up to q again this cycle is continuous so this is the infinite pl planning horizon or you can say infinite time horizon so now the question is how we can find out the reorder point so we can find out that reorder point is equal to the demand rate multiplied by the lead time so demand rate is constant, lead time is constant. We know that so we can easily find out the reorder point. Now the question is how we can find out the ordering cost or you can say order cost. Okay, if the per unit order cost is equal to CO, okay, that is basically this one. So now the, um, we can multiply this per unit ordering cost 
into the number of orders we are giving per unit of the time so let's say the number of orders per year so how we can do that that means the demand per year divided by the quantity we are giving every time as an order so this is basically the number of orders we are placing per year so this would be the ordering cost per year similarly in order to find out the carrying cost or the you can say the inventory holding cost so if cc is the carrying cost per unit okay then we have to multiply this carrying cost or the holding cost with the average of the inventory so how we can find out the average of this uh, you can say right triangle that is simply with the help of q over 2 okay so that is basically q by 2 with the help of this one i can find out the average so carrying cost per unit multiplied by the average uh, inventory holding that would be equal to the total carrying cost per year okay so now if we add them we can find out the total cost so i want to minimize this total cost function however i would be able to find out the optimum order quantity so how can i do that so let me show first graphically how the total cost look like so this is basically the ordering cost as we know that as we replace the orders larger okay so the ordering cost start decreasing whereas if we order more and more the carrying cost start increasing so we want to find out the minimum point okay that would be where the total cost should be minimum so this is basically the total cost this is basically ordering cost this is basically the carrying cost so now we are going to see that how can i find out the optimum order quantity so we can do that so we are going to solve them analytically so this is the total cost so how can i do that i can use the calculus method by differentiating this function because this function is a continuous function so i can differentiate this function with respect to q okay and once i have differentiated with respect to q i will place it equal to zero in order to find out the value of q so as you know that the derivative of this function would be equal to um, c naught d okay one over q means uh, you can say minus q uh, power minus two because q power minus one would be equal to minus one q into minus one minus one would be minus two so we can write down c naught d divided by q square similarly we have if we are going to differentiate this term with respect to q so q is going to be cancelled out with respect to q so we have cc divided by 2 okay that would be equal to this so if we put it is equal to 0 so by using simple uh, manipulation we can find out the value of q star so that optimum order quantity would be equal to the square root of 2 into ordering cost per unit multiplied by the demand divided by cc which is basically the carrying cost okay in order to find out whether this uh, ordering quantity is optimum or not we need to take the second order derivative and that second order derivative must be greater than zero so basically mathematically this is indicating that this is a convex function okay and at this particular point the function is giving us the minimum quantity okay or you can say the minimum uh, answer or we can say that this total cost uh, is going to be minimized at this particular data point now let's find out analytically uh, the time between the replenishment okay or we can say that the uh, that you know, how much time it will take to give us right so in order to find out the time between the replenishment or the lead time of the replenishment is we can if the q is the unit per order demand okay in unit per hour so that means we can find out the order cycle time okay or you can say the inventory replenishment time how we can do that that is basically simply with respect to q star over d as you know that we can find out the order of number of orders per year that is basically um, d over q okay so if we reciprocal it so we can find out the time which is q star over d so i have just simply uh, simply put the um, q's value that is basically we know that we already have computed the q star is equal to this one 
so we can put the q star's value over here so if we simplify it that we can find out the order cycle time or the time between the replenishment is equal to this one if we further simplify it because d is going to be cancelled out so we will find out that the replenishment time um, between the replenishment is going to be equal to this one so even if we do not know the optimum order quantity we can still find out the time between the replenishment with the help of this one so this is going to be tell us how long would it take to receive the order okay now we are going to find out the optimum cost as we know that the q star is this one that is this is the optimum order quantity if we put this economic order quantity answer in the total cost function which is total ordering cost which is total carrying cost so in place of q i am going to put this values okay over here and over here so if we simplify it we are going to get this one so this is the optimum order cost okay that is again square root of 2 into cc and you can see that there is no q in it so that means based on carrying cost ordering cost and demand we can still find out the minimum total cost now let's take an example so here we have uh, a basically warehouse with which they are selling basically the carpet uh, carpets okay and we want to find out the optimum order quantity we have the estimated annual demand that is 10000 yards of carpet okay we have the carrying cost per yard we have the ordering cost okay and then the store is like to know the number of orders so it is also want to know the number of orders they are going to place uh, per annum or per year as well as the time between the order you can say the uh, replenishment lead time or the order cycle time okay the store is open every day except sundays thanksgiving days as well as the christmas days okay which is not on uh, Sundays okay so first of all what kind of data we have we have the carrying cost okay that is basically this one holding cost per unit we have the ordering cost we have the annual demand so based on this we know that the optimum economic order quantity formula is this one if we put it we will find out the optimum order quantity so whenever we are going to reorder it so we are going to reorder uh, up to 2000 yards okay now if we want to find out the total cost how we how we are going to uh, how much we are going to bear it that is we can find out either this particular formula or either as we have analytically computed using this formula as you can see that we will uh, get the same answer so now in order to find out the number of orders so number of orders how we can do that that is using the formula of d over q okay so that is the demand that demand is 10000 and q is 2000 we have computed that means every year this uh, warehouse is going to place five orders now in order to find out after how much time they are going to order that that means we want to find out the inventory the replenishment lead time okay time between the orders or you can say the order cycle time so we can do that with the help of d over q star because this is basically you can say one over uh, the number of uh, order per year okay so the order per year is d over q star okay this is equal to one year because this store is opening not only uh, not for 365 days because as we know that in one year we have 365 days so this store is open um, for 311 days so based on this data so that means we will do that 311 days divided by the order per year which is d over q star so based on this we can say that that approximately after every 62 days we are going to order it so this is basically uh, this would be the our order cycle time that means after every 62 days we are going to receive the order so how much we are going to order that is 2000 and how long would it take to um, receive it that would be approximately 62 days so i hope you got the idea how we can find out the best economic order quantity uh, value and how we can find out the order per year how we can find out the reorder point that is basically d into l which is demand rate and the lead time 
similarly how we can find out the like how long would it take to uh, receive the order that is the order cycle time or the time between the replenishment so thank you so much see you in the next video